What is going on guys, Avatrix here, and look at here, I finally got myself a Maltonica. I actually got it just today with the event that's going on that you have a double D chance of getting Maltonica, and I believe it was also a 25% uh, bonus to gem, so I was like, let's go for it. And I got it, I believe, on the sixth, uh, on the sixth box. Uh, it was amazing. I, I honestly didn't think I would get it. I was just like, you know, I need to roll some new talents anyway. I uh, might as well do it today. But I got lucky. Now, here's what happened though, because it, it, it's an interesting story. So I'm over here uh, opening the chest, and I see that I get Moltanica. So I'm thinking, oh my God, yes. First thing I do is leave, come to the to the screen right here, and the not the notifications pop up talking about, hey, you got a hundred gems, you got this, you got that, and then it says you got new hero Moltanica. So I'm like, okay, sweet. Where is it? I check my mailbox, nothing there. So I go in my hero's altar. I scroll all the way to the back and I'm like, okay, where is it? So I read and it says there that you need to wait maybe, you know, up to three hours because they, they're getting quote unquote high demand. So I wait a few hours and I still have no Maltanica. So I contact life support, I talk to them, I tell them, hey, you know, I rolled Multanica, um, or not rolled, I got Multanica in the event, but I don't got them. So they tell me, okay, please allow one business day, we will uh, send this on up. I'm like, are you serious? I just check my account, it's right there, It's but I have no Multanica. So, you know, of course, live chat is not going to do anything, they're just like, okay, we understand, but, you know, we can't do nothing. So I'm like, I'm highly pissed because I'm like, are you freaking serious right now? I go to sleep mad and I wake up roughly like around seven or eight in the morning and I see that I got an email and they're telling me, okay, we checked your account and we placed Amaltanica in your hero's altar. We apologize for the inconvenience. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but anyways, enough about story time. I, it was just a funny experience because you get it and you're thinking, oh my god, here we go. And then you, you really don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, he uh, he is definitely an amazing hero. I didn't really look into him before too much, but at level, what level is he now? Uh, at level 119, if you look at his stats, 3,200 attack, uh, 34,000 HP, basically. It's it's the same or higher than my Immortep, which is 164. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. So basically, Immortep is being retired. I really have no other use for him. I was only really using him on Hebrew Monster J, but that's out the window. Um, and as you can see, I have a 3 or 5 Revitalize on him. I did roll a few times on him, and that's the best I got. But that 3 or 5 Revitalize actually comes in very handy because I did roll some other different talents that I'm going to show you guys, and it is very crucial. The most crucial one is this one right here, Cupid. Yes, I have a 5 of 5 Revitalized Cupid, which means with this 5 of 5 Revitalized Cupid, it makes all of my 3 of 5 Revitalized proc right away, like my Minotaur, 3 of 5 Revitalized. Guess what? Cupid is ranged, so by the time Minotaur gets to the altar to hit, he's going to have full energy. So it basically acts like a 5 of 5 Revitalize, as well as, that's right, Ares. Ares acts like a 5 of 5 Revitalize as well, and of course, Maltanica. So it, it was an amazing talent to roll. I know he only had a 4 of 5, so it isn't like that huge of, a, of an upgrade, but it actually is when you actually think about what it does overall. Uh, the next talent that I rolled that I was just like, oh my goodness, is Spirit Mage. 5 of 5 War God. Spirit Mage has been taking souls in the arena. Literally one proc and Maltanicas that are 9 star are dying. It is that ridiculous. I mean, I was just like, oh my goodness, what is going on right now? All these amazing talents. I even rolled uh, like a, yeah, 5 of 5 Deadly Strike and I was like, let, let me put it on this ninja. Might as well, right? So when you when you couple all of my other talents together, it makes an, an amazing arena run. And actually, I'll show you where I'm at in the arena right now. 
I am at 99, so I cracked the top 100 in Arena because of those new talents. I haven't, I haven't used the dragon yet because I feel like he's still kind of, he's still kind of low, and his skill is only three of nine because I want to finish Pumpkin Duke to nine of nine. I mean, every time I'm, I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and get Pumpkin Duke to nine of nine. Something comes along, whether it's Ares or another hero that I need to get up, and I never finish it. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish him because I'm pretty close. I only need like about 8,000 more shards because of the experience that he already has. And then I'll probably get Multanica up to maybe 6 or 7. But one of the main things I definitely need to do is get this Ares to 8 of 9 because it'll make a huge, huge difference in the arena having that extra target. Uh, but yeah... I I've never really thought that I was going to get this far. If you guys know my channel, I don't really focus too much in arena. But when you get talents like those, you can't you can't turn it down. <laughs> um as you can see here, they're they're pretty much all dead except Cupid cuz I did a wave J just trying out Multanica and it came really close. Um he does he's not blowing stuff up like he usually would when he's higher level. Um, but, you know, I'm still winning Jay pretty consistently, not a problem. I'm getting my bolts to level 20, so, I mean, this is just exciting. This, this talents that I got, like this War God and this Revitalize, just literally made, uh, that alone made that arena run possible. And I might not even stay there that long because I don't really keep up with the arena um, that much. But maybe now I sh I'll probably start paying more attention to it, honestly, because... Yeah, it's, it's top 100. I mean, how many people can actually say that? So, now, unfortunately, I can't get Multanica up as high as Ares, like I did Ares, because I didn't think that I was getting a Multanica, so I blew all of my books on Ares. And now, go figure, now I have to just, like, you know, go little by little with Multanica. Now, I did take out um, Thunder God and Immortep from my uh, towers, because... I just don't feel like they need to be leveled up anymore right now and take up experience from Altanica that's going to need it. So I'm just basically taking off them them both and I probably won't ever use uh, Immortep again other than a garrison because I I have better options all around in any sort of game mode. So um but yeah, that was that was the update on my account guys. I I'm so excited because this little leak catapulted me to a top 100 spot which I never thought I would get. I mean, I would always float around 500 and 300 whenever I like actually tried. So this is this is a total new experience. But anyways, I definitely just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm so excited to get, go ahead and I actually have all of the heroes available, which is insane when you think about it. Um, but thank you for watching, guys, and please, if you haven't already, subscribe. And until later, bye.